Wordman FC TV with Gary Elphick looking ahead to Eastbourne Borough in the FA Cup. Gary, how are you feeling going into this one? Yeah, it's always, I think, you get excited by it. Obviously, it's a, a massive opportunity for sort of any non league club to sort of go through a few stages and, and see where it can take here and hopefully raise the profile of what Adam and, and the team have already sort of achieved this season up to now and, and what we can possibly achieve. So, yeah, it's a, it's a great opportunity and one that we um, look to try and. Uh, to, to take hold of, yeah. The side that we're no strangers to, obviously being in the same league as us, but we also faced them at the same, same stage last season. Yeah. Uh, losing end that side. I don't know if you've seen that game at all, but what would you like to build on from that? Well, I think obviously it's um, it's two completely different teams now. Um, I would say that it's probably one of our best squads ever at Worthing. You know, the, the, the talent we have got uh, um, throughout the ranks is, is, is amazing, really. And obviously they've now taken a different model as well with that hybrid sort of like three days a week sort of thing. So, um, and obviously they've got a, a brand new team as well. So um, it's one that we're looking forward to. And, and obviously I think both teams like to play good football, try and get the ball down. And obviously Mark Baird, we all know his quality as well as a coach and as a manager. As a manager. So um, yes, I think it's a, it's an exciting day of football and obviously Sussex local derby as well so it just puts a little bit more on top of it so um, yeah hopefully you know it should be good and one that we, we look forward to being positive and get a positive result out of. Another game against the Sussex team as well played a friendly Tuesday night against Littlehampton getting a bit of fitness for the boys it, it seems to be with a lot of recovering injured players how'd that all go and how the players looking afterwards? Yeah it was great you know uh, players like Jake Robinson, Michael Class, uh, Tutty, uh, Ruben um, there, there was there was there's players there that, that was in desperate need of minutes so uh, it's great that they've all come through unscathed um, I know there was a little bit of a incident with uh, Danny Cashman but hopefully he's, he's fine I don't think that's too major um, so you know it's a, it's a great game for all of them to come through on a nice grass pitch which you can't ask for anymore so like we thank Little Lampton as well for, for putting that on for us and uh, yeah I think they'll come on leaps and bounds after that some of them players Looking at the team news for Saturday, how is the squad looking? Who should be coming back in? Well, hopefully, um, I think we should, we should be nearly there. I think everyone's sort of had minutes now, um, and obviously it's just down to Adam now, um, the gaffer and the coaches, to, to talk about it and see who we feel that can go on now, make, possibly make starts or or otherwise. But you know, there's there's not been a lot wrong either. So um, I know a lot of players would want to just stay in the team and keep their you know consistency going. So. Um, yeah, obviously we keep our cards close to our chest and, and obviously find out probably later on after tonight's training as well and make a joint decision on, on what we think what we think's best going forward. A little bit of FA Cup nostalgia going on with, with us being back in the Cup this weekend. Yeah. Wanted to reflect on a few from when you were manager before. St Neitz yeah. is one that a lot of people have been talking about recently. Can you give us a few memories from FA Cup games? I think I remember sort of taking out three satellite dishes with my penalty. So, <laughs> no, that was great. That was great sort of times because we were sort of on the up um, in, in the league that, at that point and obviously it was always great to come up against teams higher than yourselves and, and sort of mix it with them and um, obviously we've done well so uh, I just think it's brilliant for, for a club in non-league to, to raise the profile obviously the money's an added bonus as well going through the stages so um, yeah it's, I've had fantastic memories I remember sort of playing for having on, on ITV and things like that so it's, it's great they're great days and uh as I say, you've got to give it all, your all and make sure you take uh, take care of um, of the opportunity that comes your way. So fingers crossed, the boys can turn up and put on a good show. You mentioned we were on the up at that time, and it kind of feels a similar way at this time. It's a team that's on the up and a stronger squad than it had before. Quite a few parallels to what it was back then. Yeah, hundred percent. As I say, I think it's probably one of the best squads Worthing have ever assembled. So you know, great you know for Adam to be able to do that, and obviously the, you know the board have backed him. Uh, and, the, and, the, and the fan base that have come out as well, you know, they, they sort of like spend their hard earned money on, on coming and watch us. So um, it's great that everything's sort of pointing upwards and that we're going in one motion, going upwards together. So, uh, yeah, it's great. And, and as I say, just fingers crossed, we just got to get them little 1% right as well. Just, you know, I, I felt it should have been another clean sheet Saturday and things like that. So just scrub on, scrub up on the smaller details and hopefully everything will be all right.